Hi, my name's John. I want to tell you a prison story. My first prison, um, my first taste of prison, which for me was Armley Prison in Leeds. And Armley Prison, back then, 1985, was a feared jail. The officers, the screws in there, they didn't mess about with you in there. They just beat the shit out of you. And the, the stairs to the block, you never walked down them, you flew down them. But I remember I got 18 months at York Crown Court. Because I got done for a, uh, buying a stolen car. I didn't know it was a, well I knew, I knew it was a ringer. Anyway, so I get 18 months for that. Because I've broken a suspended sentence, like an idiot. Anyway, so... I'm going into Armony Prison, and you've got to remember, I'm from West Berkshire. We travelled all over the country, because I've got family all over the country. Yorkshire, all over. Anyway, I end up in Armony Prison, which is in Leeds. Anyway, we go through the reception, which was hours sitting in reception, and they were screaming your name, and if you didn't respond straight away, they... Prison was just different then. It was just so different. It was just so but so aggressive. Screws. You didn't have to worry about a con. You know, it was the screws you had to worry about. Anyway, I remember we finally get up onto the wing, and he opens the cell door, and I. The last thing I'm doing is going in that cell, and I remember he stood there and he started to get quite annoyed, and he said. Get in there, get in your house. So I said, I'm not going in there, I ain't got to go in there, that's a broom cupboard. And he said, well, where the fuck do you think you're going to sleep, you stupid cunt? And I hadn't really thought about it, you know, but I was young then and, you know, didn't know half of what I'd, I'd do now. But I went in there and the treatment that the Yorkshire boys and that give the southern dudes, they treat you like you're... They treat you like you're a grass kind of thing. They treat you like you're a piece of shite that, 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 that's on their shoe. Now, since then, obviously, I've got relatives in Yorkshire, so I get on a lot better up there. I'm sure I would now. Anyway, I wouldn't put up with the shit, you know. I just wouldn't put up with it. But in them days, I was young and I didn't... I was scared shitless, to be honest with you. And the geezers in the cell, which is three to a cell, and then little cells... I remember Judge Pickles, he was at Leeds Crown Court at the time, and he said, three to a cell, I'd put three to a bed. That's the kind of, that's the kind of mentality they all had. Horrible fucking people. I'm sorry I swear there. But they're horrible people, these prison officers. And in my travels, I mean, I've been in quite a lot of prisons. I've been in Hull, I've been in Leeds, I've been in Lindholm. Um... Rudgate, West Yorkshire, which is now called Wilston. Uh, Lay Hill, I've done Bullingdon, Winchester, Horfield. Oh, Sutton in Surrey, I've done that one. Um, yeah, I'm sure I'm missing one out. <laughs> I am. Oh, yes, the one, Dorchester. Yep, Dorchester. That's closed now. But yes, um, it was just hell. But I had some problems in there because my brother died at around about that time. Hi, it's John again. Anyway, we're talking about Armley Prison in Leeds. Yes. So I, I end up in the hospital for observations because obviously I'm a bit upset. I'm up in Leeds. I'm away from my then family. So I end up on a, a ward, which is just a load of cells, really. And um, down there, you can tell the atmosphere down there. It's like the block. The hospital was like the block. Honestly, it was like the block. And um, you didn't say anything. You didn't ask for anything because they'd just come in and that would be it. You'd be punched. And you, you couldn't fight a, a prison officer in them days. You couldn't fight one because you, you, well, you just have no jaw left. You'd be in the block with no jaw left. You know, you just couldn't do it. Anyway, 
Yes. So I heard one of this one of my neighbour who was very loud kept screaming for the doctor. And this doctor was a real hard case, a real a real knobhead. Anyway, eventually he goes to the door and I hear him shouting and he, some they're telling each other to fuck off. And I was quite surprised to hear that come from the doctor. Anyway, that half an hour later, he starts off again, because Doctor's gone then. Doctor comes back. So I hear a big scuffle. I don't know what's going on. And it went on for a while. And I, I just, the only thing I can think is they've got the poor bugger held down on the floor. Anyway, so next morning we're on our exercise. We were lucky enough to get exercise. Oh, my God. You know, all this, you know, you, you just didn't get exercise. But this, the next morning we got exercise. And I was, I was just, you know, I nearly collapsed when they said exercise. Anyway. So then I said to him, what the hell went on last night? And I cut along so short, the doctor stuck a nut on him. You know, and it wasn't a case of, oh, it was, you know, a white lie or anything. I heard it. and I heard him shouting at him. You know, I heard, you know, I know what went on. And you couldn't complain about it because nobody would listen. And if you did complain, then you had a big prison officer would come round and he'd advise you against it. And I'll always remember there was one there called Viking. And he actually uh, works or has a pub in, or had a pub in Leeds called the Mucky Duck. At the same time, he was working at the Nick. And um, he was a massive... I've never seen a bigger geezer. And he used to come round and say, Do you sure you want to make a complaint? Are you sure? Yeah, so... Yeah. And the beatings and the abuse that went on in there, I could... I've got to recall my memory, and, I, and I'm, I'm going to put some more uploads on, but my... God, I could go on and on. People were pushed down the stairs. I saw a, bu a, a bucket of shit thrown over an officer because he, he, kept, he wouldn't leave this guy alone. And one day I heard the, the guy just went off. He was on the fours, the threes. And this crew happened to be down on the ones. Well, the shit went all over him. Well, he went mad. But nobody grasped the geezer. You know, I, I think they knew it was in, but they couldn't prove it. But... Over the next week or so, he was moved. You know, he was moved. He was gone. And where?